project. And this is one of the things I love. Because, if you're like me, you love color. Now, I need you to take your brain, and I need you to think back to kindergarten. When we made those really cool cardinals, and we had the squares in the background, and we learned about Piet Mondrian. Okay? Do you remember? What were the three colors we used? They were called primary. If you don't remember, that's okay. Because I have a video for you to watch for the next few minutes. The site's right there if you want to go to it on your computer. Otherwise, I'm going to click on it so that you can watch it right here and learn a little bit about color mixing and blending. So when we 
together, what do you get? If you said orange, you're smart. I knew you were smart. Second grade smart. It's super awesome. What do you get when you mix yellow plus blue? It's a tricky one. Green. How do you know that? Oh, you guys are such fast learners. What do you get when you mix red plus blue? One of my favorites. What do you get? Come on, this is the hardest one. Purple! You guys are amazing. And they are called secondary colors. Say secondary. Secondary. Good. Say colors. <laughs> colors. Awesome. Now, if you're watching this video, you might want to pause the screen and ask mom or dad, or if you know where they are, you're going to need to get out some art materials so that we can create a really cool project together. So, what you're going to need, don't cheat, but you're only allowed to grab red, blue, and yellow crayons, markers, or paint. Now, if you're using paint, please make sure to ask mom and dad's permission and get help setting it up. But, you only need red, blue, and yellow. I'm going to use markers for this demo, but you can use either of any of those. And you need one piece of medium-sized white paper. If you're doing crayons, go a little smaller. If you're doing paint, go a little bigger. And one black marker or crayon. So go ahead and pause, get your materials together, and I'll meet you for demo time. 